going? It's uh oh, it's way over there. It's kind of hard to see. We're gonna go on a hayride. Yeah, <laughs> your face is kind of getting a little smudgy, <laughs> but you look beautiful. Today is our what second Halloween party? Yeah, we have a lot of Halloween parties, huh? <laughs> Let me see your outfit. Let me see. Do a spin. Ooh, let me see a tail. <laughs> Cute. Shake your butt. <laughs> Annie. We're going to go on a hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't. <laughs> Now we can add some color to it. Hang on. Ooh. I need one more color. Sure. What color? You want a purple? So I see a lavender in there. Yeah, that one or or that one. There you go. Okay, second party <laughs> of the season complete. Hey, where's your hat? Is your hat? I, I, it's it. I put it right here. Okay, as long as we have it. This looks like a box, <laughs> but it's a little animal. Uh huh. But it's like it's like a, it's like a game. Kitty bat. Yeah. Like. <laughs> like it was from the game where, like somebody was playing yeah, yeah. and they actually saw a this bat. Yeah, so yeah. maybe yeah, the, the maybe a flight out of the game and went to here. Maybe to, for somebody to get her. You think so? Yeah. You had to play uh oh crap. <laughs> Somebody's next to me putting their kid in now so I can't back. She actually has a hair <clears throat> next to her. She has pretty green eyes. Um, she had to win four, four, play four games to win a prize, or to go to and the candies. prize table and pick out something. Yeah, you got candy on the hay ride. This is cute. It was, it was like thirteen bucks for the two of us, but like they included like popcorn drinks, balloon animals. Um, so I got it a blue animal. I was gonna show you, but it's a little far away. Balloon animals, like a whole bunch of stuff like that. Okay. And they have a toy table for you to win. Yeah, sorry, I'm just paying attention because there's a lot of people around. That was a lot of fun. Next weekend, there's not much going on this week. She's going back to school tomorrow, so you guys probably won't see much until next weekend. You we know have this a, uh, uh, We have a like Halloween housewarming party go to go to, and then we have another... You know party this on from, Sunday. So. You know this is from home. Huh? You know this is from home. What's from home? This. The bat? Yeah. It's not from home. I know. I just pretending. Alright people, you need to get but, it out of the middle of the road. But I wanna bring I just I just get really off wanna your phone. Get, well okay, one saw me. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh, they're like literally, they were like forming a fence across the road. And oh, I, I gosh, really want to. Okay. What's up, man? I think I want to hold this to school. And no, 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 no. We're not bringing any toys to school. I don't think so. And I think you're actually going to have like a, a classroom Halloween party too soon. I think I'll be getting some information on that. Oh, wait! What? I think we're gonna have a Halloween party for. I think we. I think we're gonna have a Halloween party at school. And when that? the bell rings, baby, we need to go inside. And baby, the teacher said, "Do you know have so much fun outside when we're in line?" And they're gonna know I have this bat. So they're so they're gonna yell. So they're gonna yell. Oh, there's a 
cute little bag. I'm not bringing the bag to school, bud. I know, I'm just telling you. <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. So I just dropped Ella off a little while ago at school. We are here um, right outside of Bye Bye Baby because I need to put in my registration for my baby shower at the beginning of November. So I've never been here before. I'm meeting with somebody. I don't really know, like, Sorry, I put you up for a sec because I need my hands. Um, I don't really know if it works like Babies RF did where like you walk around with this little like price gun. But I don't know. I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh, hello. My keys are still. <laughs> I'm a mess this morning. But yeah, we're going to go in and see what it's all about, I guess. So let's get going. I'm so excited though. I got the expecting mothers parking spot. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't realize it opened right at 10. <laughs> um, my point is at 10, but it's like 9.52 at the moment, so. <sighs> what a bummer. I'm gonna have to wait a minute. I didn't realize there's like a whole bunch of shops over here. Um, there's like a Marshalls, there's a Home Goods, Montan Dare, a Lazy Boy. I don't know, we're just gonna hang out for a few minutes, I guess. What's Cassandra? I don't know, just looking at all the shops around. Oh, I was hoping to get this done early. Registration has officially begun, so we'll see. So it's going good so far. <laughs> I had to go into the bathroom. Um, I'm having a hard time filming out there because of like copyright music, but I got quite a bit of um, stuff. I have 98 things so far, and it's so funny because like, I keep looking at girl stuff just like out of habit, but I found some really cute boy stuff, so I'm super excited. So we're gonna go back out and uh, finish this up. Okay, um, ooh, <laughs> sorry, it's dark because of the sun. Um, <laughs> my shirt keeps wanting to overexpose. Um, it went good, so my registry is done, so I wanna make sure that my family starts getting my registry. I'm sorry, I'm gonna open up my window because oh, it's actually warmer than I thought it would be. Um, no, it went good. I, <laughs> the lady who set me up with the registry, oh, she was a, I don't know, like she seemed angry. <laughs> I don't think she was. I think it was just her personality, but she seemed really angry. So I was like, <laughs> but no, it went good. And I got a little, you know what's funny? I didn't realize Bye Bye Baby is part of Bed Bath & Beyond, but I got like a little gift bag. So I want to see what's in here. So this is a baby food freezer tray. Oh, I never, um, what? I never, um, froze my baby food when Ella was a little. I don't know, I would just buy like the little um, jars. Are you supposed to freeze them? I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that. Let me know if you guys know, like what, do you freeze? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I got a, oh, I got a bottle, which bottles are always easy and actually, I think this might be the one, yeah, from Avon, or I think that's how you pronounce it, Avon. Um, so these are actually the bottles that I really like for Ella because they didn't have like a thousand cleaning compartments like the Dr. Brown's ones do. So perfect. And then I got, let's see. Oh, I got some baby wipes. Some honest wipes, which you can't have enough of, trust me. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll carry baby wipes with me for the rest of my life just because of how handy they come in. Uh, just some coupons. Oh, I got a little baby on board thing, which I will definitely use. I use that for Ella too. Um, oh, a single pacifier, which they kind of did like a neutral, a gender neutral color. And then let's see what else. A... Ooh, breastfeeding samples. What? 
<laughs> disposable nursing pads and breast milk storage bags. Oh, cool. I tried to breastfeed with Ella and I don't know if it was her or if it was me, but I was a new mom and I was having a hard time getting her to latch. So I kind of like panicked and I just switched to formula. So I don't know like if, you know, this time I'm going to obviously try harder, but I was like worried that she wasn't eating. So we switched to formula. I did try pumping when I got out of the hospital and that just like didn't work. So I don't think I was producing milk. Um, and we have some boogie wipes, which are always handy. And then we have some stretch mark belly lotion. Honestly, I just use, um, it's like cocoa butter. I used that in my first pregnancy too. Uh, oh, some more breastfeeding samples, some more coupons. Anyways, um, yeah, no, I mean, the experience was fun. It was definitely a bit overwhelming. There was so much and like, you know, all the memories started flooding back of when I had Ella and like what I actually need, what I don't need. I did pick out a lot of clothes, but the thing is with clothes is that Hunter is going to be born in January. So it's going to be very cold and very snowy. So, you know, I picked out a lot. I like registered a lot of newborn clothes instead of um, like three months. I, did, I think I did a couple three months clothes too, but I really try to stay away from like six months and 12 months and stuff. And um, obviously I'm going to need it and it would be handy to have on my registration. This guy is not... Anyways, I, I need to get some lunch real quick, but um, yeah, I try to stay away from those kind of clothes because the thing is, A, I don't know how big Hunter is going to be. I think he's going to be a big baby <laughs> just simply because of the size that I am right now and I'm only a little over halfway there. Um, and then secondly, I don't know really what the weather is going to be like because sometimes it gets really warm in like May, the end of May, which would be you know six uh, January yeah five months so six months would put us back in June so by then I would need summer clothes not winter clothes you know what I mean so I, I really just kind of looked at newborn newborn clothes because I knew what kind of weather we would be having Ooh, so I did that um I also I like picked out a lot of um, crib sheets I picked out like the crib like accessories and stuff so his room basically the color scheme is mostly gray and like it's woodland animals not safari animals but like foxes squirrels like that I love foxes so we picked out that oh, should I head back into my town to grab lunch I think I will it's honestly it's getting too almost too late to go to work now before I have to pick up Ella. So I think I'm just gonna do what I have to do this morning, like get some chores done and then go to work later today when TJ gets home. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about time, but I am starving. I don't know what I wanna eat. Um, but yeah, his his nursery is gonna be like, uh, like I said, mostly gray and woodland animals, but I think I wanna make an accent wall that's green. And then he's gonna have like maroon and beige accents in his room as well so like I, I try to keep that in mind so I bought a lot of or I registered a lot of like gray crib covers I registered swaddles because those are super expensive um a lot of like jammies a lot of comfy clothes socks um I didn't see like shoes or anything but he's definitely gonna need shoes because we're in the middle of winter with Ella I got away with not really having her wear shoes because she was born in August so um but Hunter is definitely gonna need shoes I didn't really register I registered a I saw this cool thing it was a pack and play but it was also a bassinet because I co-slept with Ella for like the first nine months so it was like a pack and play but I had like a uh bedside sleeper with it and I'm like this is perfect it's kind of like a two-in-one thing um so I, I registered that I didn't register any furniture or anything because Hunter's room is going to be smaller than Ella's and because of 
my house can only be considered a two bedroom house because of the size of our septic. So technically Hunter can't have a closet because once you add a closet, then it's a, then it's a bedroom and then we have to replace the septic, which we want to move eventually. So we're like, we're not going to do that. So he's going to have like an armoire, a dresser and like that's about it. I, that's more than enough room for his clothes. So. I need to see the size of his room when it's finally done to figure out what furniture I'm actually going to need. Like the big, big, big items I stayed away from because I kept a lot of Ella's old stuff. I did register for a like gate as well um, to like block off the upstairs and to like block off the other room, like our dining room and stuff so he can't really go in there and like, get in Ella's small toys and stuff. So like just stuff like that, I guess. I'm super excited. I'm glad that I got that done. I know my mom's been asking for it, <laughs> but I'm like, I didn't, you know, I had to make this appointment and it was a little frustrating. I will admit my experience at Bye Bye Baby was a little frustrating because like I, you know, I got there a few minutes early. It was weird because, oh, excuse me, Google had already said that it was open before I even left around nine. So the fact that I got there and that they opened at 10 and then I went to the registry and nobody was there for a long time. Like a manager came over and asked if I need help. And I'm like, I have a scheduled appointment for 10. <laughs> like they were clueless about my appointment. And even when I sat down and started like making my registry, she's like, oh, did you make an appointment? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so it was just like, I don't know, it was a little slow at getting started. Um, but the lady was super informative, but I've done this all before, you know, if it was my first baby, I'd have a lot more questions, but I pretty much knew what I was there for and what I was looking for. So, but Bye Bye Baby was super cute. Like they had a lot of really, really cute stuff, but it seemed pretty expensive though. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just don't remember the price of like baby stuff. I don't know, but I was like, ay, ay, ay. Like, it was just, it was a lot. Um, I did see one thing though that my sister-in-law got a couple months ago at her baby shower. And it was like basically a, a coffee maker, but for baby bottles. Like it dispensed the formula and it heated it up and everything. So I was looking everywhere for something like that. Um, all I found was a baby bottle warmer. So I might go online and see if see if I can't find it because I would definitely prefer like the coffee the the baby bottle maker over just the warmer but I think I also I got I registered a diaper bag I registered a like to go changing mat which would definitely have been handy with Ella oh my gosh one more really quick thing I was just driving and it, it just popped in my head this all happened last night and I don't expect anyone to remember and I probably won't talk about it again until next year. But we just, um, well, we're going to <laughs> put a deposit down for a cruise next year. I was so excited. I haven't been on a cruise. I think I was in middle school when I went on my first cruise and I loved it. But like I was little, you know, I didn't really, I don't feel like I experienced a cruise and like my like we're going my whole family my mom my stepdad my brother his girlfriend I think my other brother is coming me TJ Ella Hunter like we're all going doing this big family cruise we're going to Bermuda baby I'm so excited I've been to the Bahamas but I haven't been to Bermuda um but we're gonna go at the end of October next year. So like pretty much exactly a year away. I am just so excited because my husband and I have never even had our honeymoon and this is not our honeymoon. I wouldn't bring my parents on my honeymoon, but I, we've never had a, a vacation together as a family even a couple we've never had a vacation like this and I'm so 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 excited so my friend who's dating my brother who's coming she's looking up some information because we needed to know like they were asking for birthdays and obviously we don't know what Hunter's actual birthday will be yet so we we're seeing if like we could change that when he's born and what like the deal on the passport situation would be obviously me and TJ need some but like Ella will be six by then does she need one and if she does like we need to get that ball rolling so it was just some questions and she ow she used to work with a I don't know 
know if it was a travel agency or she worked with like the insurance of people traveling, something like that. Um, so she knows a lot about it. So she was making some phone calls today to answer some un unanswered questions. And uh, she was just texting me about it and that's kind of what sparked my memory. So I'm so excited. Oh, I won't be pregnant anymore. I'll be able to like drink and just enjoy myself. And oh, I'm super, I mean, I'm gonna have two kids so I can't go crazy, but <laughs> I'm really, 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 really excited for it. So you guys will be seeing that next year. So make sure you stay subscribed for another year at least. <laughs> If you want to see some um, cruise footage and stuff, but I'm super excited. Ooh, I know exactly what I want to eat. I've been sitting here pondering what the heck to eat. That was pretty far away. Bye Bye Baby was like 40 minutes away. Um, but I used to DoorDash here. And I don't really DoorDash anymore. I haven't talked about it, but I don't really. I mean, I do it once in a blue moon, but not really anymore because I work five days a week now at the restaurant again. So I don't really need it, but if I need extra cash. But uh, it's called Friendly's Red Tavern. It is so bomb. I, again, I used to DoorDash from there all the time. Never thought about ordering it. And then TJ and I had a day off together when Ella was in school, which we're like, what do we do with, what do we do with ourselves? So I suggested trying out this place because so many people, like it was really pop. I was here all the time door dashing and we tried it and I ordered a, we both ordered a baked mac and cheese with, it has like crispy chicken strips. There's like four crispy chicken strips, but barbecue flavored. It is so bomb. <laughs> so it's so bomb. And then I asked her, I'm like, I, you know, I asked her if they sold drinks, and she said no, but that there is like a pizza place right next to them that she tells people to just go in and get like a bottle of something. Because <laughs> she said we have like kids to go cups, but they have like sort of a bar situation. So I'm gonna stop and grab myself a drink. Ooh, maybe we'll go home, chit chat eat some yummy stuff. I got some vlogs to edit. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry and that's like gonna hit the spot. Oh, oh I can't wait. <laughs> I'm really excited. It definitely wasn't 20 minutes. <laughs> Whoops, I just called her like five minutes ago and I'm here. But you know what, we can, we can kill some time. into a spot here real quick, excuse me. I can still go get my drink. Back in my day, we actually had to look behind us to back up, not use these fancy dancy. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. It was so funny, I'm sorry, I'm using my rear view mirror and that just reminded me of my mom. <laughs> My mom's, you know, obviously older than me. She's um, gonna be 56 this year, I think. And she had gotten a car not that long ago that had a rear view camera. And like, she would not use the camera. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching right now, mom. I'm not making fun of you. Sometimes, excuse me. Sometimes she watches my videos. I'm not making fun. Cause like, that's kind of like a new thing. And I'm telling you when Ella starts driving in 10 years, oh my God, that's just kind of, she'll be driving in 10 years she'll have some fancy thing and we'll be like ah oh, well back in my day i only had rear view cameras to help me drive now the whole damn car is driving <laughs> oh my goodness anyways i am gonna um while i'm waiting real quick i'm gonna see if i can sign into my registry to start sharing the link with people oh thank goodness i am home i was starving and hitting every red light on my way up oh i can't get this open Ooh. Okay, wasn't expecting that for packaging. I can smell it. Oh my lord. Oh yes, mamacita. Oh, so yummy. I think I'm gonna grab some extra barbecue sauce. Oh, it's so good. You guys might hear um, my heater in the background. It's nice outside, but my house 
hates retaining heat. So it's like 65 degrees in here. So it's a little chilly, um, but I'm so pumped for this. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna enjoy some lunch. I'm gonna do some editing, like what? Um, oh, I forgot a knife. I got myself a knife. <laughs> um, I did grab some extra barbecue sauce. I'm just using Sweet Baby Ray's, um, but let's go ahead. Oh, mama. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it is so yummy. Mm -mm -mm. I have been cutting back on soda, but when I went into the pizza place, I saw this. I'm like, oh, I want that. <laughs> I'm going to throw up a quick screenshot in just a second because I went on my registry and I took a screenshot of. Oh, 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 well. I took a screenshot of that baby bottle maker thing I was talking about. It is so, it's expensive. <laughs> I didn't even look at the price where I added it to my registry, but oh my goodness. But if like nobody else gets that for me, I might consider getting it because uh, it just seems super handy. One thing that I struggled with Ella with making her bottles was like, I would just, you know, put the formula and the milk together but then I would microwave it and sometimes it wouldn't be warm enough. Sometimes it would be scorching hot. So it was like, it was always really hard to get the temperature just right. So that's why I initially thought the bottle warmer would be awesome. But then I saw that I'm like, oh, this thing makes the bottle for you. <laughs> and being my second time around, like with Ella, I only had Ella. Now I have to worry about a toddler who's in school and a newborn <laughs> so i'm a little worried about that but we'll we'll, we'll get through it together <laughs> all right guys i was gonna chit chat and eat but all i'm doing is eating <laughs> so i will talk to you guys pretty soon when um i decide it's a good time to vlog again mm. so good